Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the week of March 22nd, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to that read those readings in the description box below. There will be an extended reading to today's reading on Vimeo and you'll find that in the link to the description box as well. Okay, so Taurus. Honestly, this is a week about getting what you want, okay? But you're moving forward. You're doing so in a positive light. There's just, wow, so much positivity around you. And for whatever reason, I've got a Libra energy jumping out around you as well. There is the signing of some kind of contract or document. I see that as well. Uh, but there's also a really quick, quick, quick glimpse of your temper. And I have to be honest about it. You know, I think it's going to be very brief and passing. So, let's take a look. This is Taurus. This is your week of March 22nd, 2021. And look at there. Taurus, you start with my favorite card in the deck, which is the chariot. And that chariot says you get everything you want. You get everything you desire. And it comes in when you least expect it. Now... Interesting combination because you got a tower card moment. This is what I'm talking about with your temper. Uh, don't dread the tower. The tower brings an instant change like that. Okay. Very quick, very brief, very passing. I don't see a confrontation for you guys, but I do see you kind of cutting loose with your temper. And you know, we're human. We all need to do that from time to time. And you're going to have a wave of emotions because we have the death card here. Wow. You start out with three major arcanas. Chariot, Tower, and Death. And that says endings, closures, rebirths, new beginnings. So it's one door closing, one door opening. It's a lot going on at one time. So it's going to be emotional. With that said, I have the King of Wands. And this is you taking authority. This is you putting your foot down. Honestly, guys, this is you being true to yourself. And an Aries may resonate with you. Ace of Pentacles comes up for the center of your read. Now, um, center of your read, of course, radiates throughout. Says that not only are you under a new beginning with that death card in spring, but you're under a new beginning because we have this um, financial going on. New beginning in your finances. Then I have, is this the eight? Yes, eight of pentacles indicating new money. Now, Taurus, this is money in addition to, in addition to your regular pay. It could be a tax return, stimulus, the sale of something, but this is new money coming into play. And I have the four of cups. Four of cups coming in as an unexpected offer, but for a lot of you guys, that's going to be an unexpected offer of love. Wow, Taurus, you got the Magician, the highest card in the tarot deck. This is the one that says you get everything you want and desire. Now, let me tell you, the rarity of pulling the Magician and the Chariot at one spread really doesn't happen. So, really driving home the point that you're getting what you want. Backing it up with the King of Pentacles of Financial Stability. Also, want to throw out there, Gemini may resonate now, I'm going to clarify these, and, I, and it feels kind of silly when we have the chariot and magician that overrides everything. But let's see if we can go any further, getting new messages out of this. And Taurus, this is your week of March 22nd. So, coming with the chariot, I have the Eight of Swords. There's something you're still holding yourself back from. That's what I call the card of self-imposed restrictions. The Two of Pentacles on top of the Tower. Okay, so what you're angry about, this may be it. Two of Pentacles shows me you're juggling financially, but it's only temporary. There may be some type of financial error, something like that, that causes your temper. On top of the Death card energy, I've got the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles shows me you're working, you're gaining, you're making future plans with your finances. With the King of Wands, I have the Two of Swords. You guys have got decisions to make, and these decisions you've been putting off for too long. 
that Ace of Pentacles comes in. I love this card. The Ten of Wands. Overcoming your obstacles, pushing them to the side, clearing the path. You're actually making a new path. A new path and a better path. And that comes with the new beginning in the financials. And in regards to the Eight of Pentacles, you guys have the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands comes in with a lesson well learned in the past, but you're going to apply it towards this week. Okay? So, perhaps what I'm seeing here is that you're going to lend somebody some advice and opinions or something like that. Unexpected offer with the Four of Cups comes in with the Star. Everything we got going on here, Taurus, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. <laughs> you got the chariot again. There's two chariots and the magician. And this will come on top of the magician. Of getting everything you want and desire when you least expect it. And the king of pentacles. Comes in with the six of pentacles. Which shows financial balance. Now. This also shows me you have the opportunity to help someone. And you may help them either by your time or monetarily. And I think it's going to be monetarily. Bonus card for the center. Mm, two. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a messenger card. Message is <laughs> the fool. The fool says you're happy. Go lucky. Look at that. Clear skies, clear water. But don't be so happy. Go lucky that you may make foolish decisions or not. May be mindful of your decisions. Okay, guys, this is beautiful. We got two chariots, a magician. I'm going to go as far with this as I can. I'm going to move over to Vimeo for your extended read. So if you're interested, you will find that Vimeo link in the description box below this. And if not, I will see you guys soon. Jackie Tomlin for Psychic Readings.